everyone. I'm Carolyn Cole from Easton Shoveltown Cultural District. And Kim Pincus from Easton Community Access Television is working with us and uh, to bring uh, artisans on display um, to you. We normally would go from um, site to site um, and hang artwork around town, but we can't do that. So we're going to introduce the artists and their artwork um, in a different way. Hi, everyone. I want to introduce Jane Osland, who's one of our artists from the um, Eastern Shoveltown Cultural District Art Co-op Gallery. And um, she's known for her watercolors, but I believe she paints another medium sometimes as well. But um, Jane, what mediums do you use typically? Mostly watercolor, but I dabble in pastels also. But usually okay. only in the summer because I have to do them outside because of the chalk dust. Oh, yes. Yeah, that can be a problem. And um, one of the questions that we get asked a lot at the co-op when they see a picture is, um, do you use a photograph to do it or do, or do you prefer to take um, to paint live? You know, um, outside I, like, or? I like to do photographs because when you're painting outside, the light changes constantly. So you have to do really good sketches of shadows first, but then the weather can change rapidly and then you lose what you were there to catch the light in the sky and if it's water too so I like to take photos and then go home and duplicate them at home. Uh, that makes sense. Um, what subject matters excite you the best? You know what what are the things that really you love to do? I love to paint lighthouses. I love to do house portraits. I also I do love to do flowers, either just from the garden or bouquets, and then children at play. Do you, um, do you move around a lot to get your inspiration? Or, or as you travel, do you search for something to paint? Yes, I love to go to Maine. And when I'm in Maine, I try to find all the lighthouses I can that you can see from land. And then sometimes I have to take like, a, sometimes you have to take a boat tour to get mm -hmm. you out to see the lighthouses because you can't see them from land. But I found quite a few that are tucked way out in peninsulas and eventually sometimes you can get a road that takes you out there to get the photos. And, and it's also to... fun because you're a lot of back roads in Maine and you've come I know, up I know. lighthouses in the middle of, you know, this beautiful scenery that you wouldn't see if you didn't go off these back roads. Did you, um, have you ever been to Nova Scotia? Yeah. Nova Scotia has that lighthouse tour. They, uh, they have like, it's it's on paper. You, you follow a map or whatever, and they have, they must have like 10 lighthouses all in that type of a setting that you can drive out to. Yes, and I probably only found three when I was there. But um, I wasn't there long enough to investigate too many, but it was fun. It's a be That's beautiful, and there's not a lot of traffic great place to drive. I know, I know. Sometimes the beaches are totally deserted, you know, even yeah. in the middle of summer, you know, because there's so many beaches. Um, one of my favorites that you do is children. I love some of the paintings that you do of children. And can you explain to me, um, with a child, what do you do to make it extra special? What do you look for? Whenever someone asks me, if they ask me to do a children's portrait, I always tell them, I just don't want them to give me a photo of the child like a photographer would take. I want them doing something fun and exciting like with nature or whatnot. So there's a picture here that I will show you. Hopefully it comes out. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Not That's all of little... it though. Move, move okay. it around a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's... Is that good? Yeah. So that is a little boy, you know, picking up shells at the beach. So you don't see, you don't see a lot of his face, but he's looking down and he's got his hood on. It just gives me a good like Cape Cod beach day where it's a little damp and he's looking yep. for shells. And I just, I, I don't do children's portraits straight on. I think photographs, do that justice. And I think the painting needs to have some excitement to it of them doing something. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. And um, 
Like most artists, you're always working to improve your skills. And you've been at it quite a while. So, and I've seen you evolve. Um, so what do you do um, to, to do that? What do you, do you take classes? Do you look at online things? Do you keep just experimenting yourself with different mediums or different subjects? I do look online because you can do some um, quick lessons online. They'll show you how to paint something, give you some great tips. I also have taken quite a few workshops with Paul George, who is a watercolor artist from the Gloucester area. Mm -hmm. And I've probably done four workshops with him and I just love the way he paints. So trying to get some hints from him. And then I took a class in Sarasota, Florida for a week on floral painting and children. But the floral painting was what I really went for. And then I've taken some courses up in Maine, like you go for a week and you stay and you meet different artists and then the artist is there for the week and you do different paintings and all the hints they give you. Everybody has a different hint. Mm. And I might not even like the style that they do, but the hints they give you can help you improve your own work. Well, one of the things that I find fascinating is that you do is a lot of people come in and they love and it's, oh, um, yeah, it, it's amazing that to get that the, I can't even see some of them. I have to put my glasses on. To um, the amazing, the detail you get into a small frame. And that's, to me, that's very, very difficult. I think some something. people think I shrink a painting and I say, no, I, that's actually a, an original well, painting in that little frame. <laughs> you know, they think it's this technical thing that you, you know, take yeah. a picture of your painting and have it done, you know, on canvas or something. But no, I mean, and it, people love them. And um, they, they, I like them. They're very interesting. And I'm and just it, amazed that I you always, can get that detail. I didn't think they were going to become so popular, but it's a great little hostess gift that you can bring someone because it's not expensive, yet it's a little piece of artwork. Yeah, I know. And then we've had people come in and buy 10, 12 at a time <laughs> because everything that's out there is because uh, because one of the things with that co-op, it is original art. So there's not like an overabundance all the time because we're always our artists are always creating and moving forward and stuff like that. So it is interesting. Well, thank you, Jane. It's been a pleasure seeing you again. Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other all summer. With I the, know. Uh, and it's kind of neat being at back at the co-op again because I kind of miss sitting here and meeting people. I know, I know, I know what you mean. Well, so thank hopefully you again. we'll be back open soon. Yes, and um, we'll see you on cable. Okay, happy 4th of July. Thank you. Take care now. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.